George Pickett. Phil can... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you wait, audience members we're about to pick on. Yeah, right? hey, we're going to start Googling members of the audience next, so <laughs> don't laugh too loud. All right, but to finish out the story, I know-ish Gina, right? So Gina's son is in class with my daughter. Lynn, how many times did I take the kids to school this year? Zip, zero. Zero. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, I kind of know her. Sure. I mean, she's actually just aware that I'm an agent. So uh, Gina Googles me. Ooh, we're supposed to ooh. 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 <laughs> right, there's photos, there's stars. I go to the listing appointment and I win. So just I'm just, you know, doing my deal, not a big deal. But then I, I listen to podcasts, I listen to a gentleman by the name of Tom Ferry, he's a coach in the industry, and he calls agents like George Pickett fading winners. So his description of a fading winner is a great agent, someone that's all about relationships, that's great with the transaction, they know all of the forms, but their business is flat to declining, maybe even starting to trail off as they head into the later part of their career. A fading winner, Phil. Yes, a fading winner. Explain that well? No, yeah, you absolutely did. So there's, and forgive me if I'm jumping ahead, but. No, you're gonna tell us what the main point is, because I can't make a good point. There's four words. Personal rule of thumb. 